touchback. On first down. Eluding the pressure right. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Second and 10 now, it's Rosen. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. It's a gain of seven, and they're going to have a third down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Rosen to throw on third down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Go yeah, fortunately for him, go got a couple go more downs to play with. Second and 10, it's Rosen again. And Nelson's got it here right side. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Leopard! Leopard! Watch it now, Barney! Barney! Ah! Throwing again, it's Rosen. Steps away to his left, and he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Malik Jackson with a big-time sack on third down, and it'll be a loss of seven. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Touchdown on the season, and the Jags have taken the early lead. Jacksonville is 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Now, Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. Right? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. The Jags with their first opportunity in the red zone. They've got a first and goal just inside the five. 46 down, man. 5-4. Throwing now is Wentz. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Wentz to throw on second down. Buying time to his left. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this will get out of bounds at the two-yard line. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. This drive started with first and goal. Now that it's fourth and goal, anything less than a touchdown would feel like a letdown to me. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. They come out here in the eye. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. And it's a Jacksonville touchdown. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stat stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And sending out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. And they'll run it here. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. 
Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Now Rosen. He's got Harrison left side complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 and a first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. You get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Play action here with Rosen. And that is incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. And incomplete, almost intercepted. The D lineman almost had it. Couldn't hang on. He's not exactly had a banner start to this game. We're still in the first quarter. He's already thrown an interception, and that should have been the second one. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. A very good starting field position for the Jaguars' offense as they come up first and ten. Now Wentz going for the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. And that one results in 35 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. First down, Wentz. Flushed out right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. A wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. And it's caught. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? A gain of three, second down. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. and be backed up to the 24. That'll be a loss of a yard and it leads to a third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep. They've got his man complete. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Nothing conservative about that play call. You said earlier in the quarter you wanted to see them open things up, maybe take some shots downfield. There you go. Yeah, that one was successful. But even if they're not successful, when you take those shots downfield, they've got to back off a little bit, loosen up a little bit on defense, and give you a little bit more room if you want to run the football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back in that Philly, here we go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals cut into that lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Throwing on first is Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Wentz now to throw. Forced out to his left. And he lost the football. But it looked like a Jaguar was able to cover this thing, and so Jacksonville will keep control. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And that is incomplete. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. Four down, four down. Go, go. Lady. Man, five, seven. Hey, Lou, 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 Lou. Switch. Greg, 
They do go for it. It's wins. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. Dancing to his left. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kayvon Webster. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball for him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it a second down. To throw, it's Wentz. A throw left side complete to his receiver, Westbrook. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to face a third down. Come on now. They don't need Come on to now. run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Jacksonville. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Now Wentz on third down. Sharks got it left side. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Wentz will try again on second down. And he completes it to Westbrook. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Two jet, two jet. Black, black. Again, it's Wentz. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out Detroit! onto the Detroit! field. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects Detroit! it. Detroit! Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while they'll hurt their team, they won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. They give them a gain of 38. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this. 
But run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. Caught by Nelson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now Rosen on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Rosen to throw again. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. So after the INT, here's Wentz. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is taken in. It's complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Black, black, come on. 81, 81. Wentz now on first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Four, Tokyo. That's 20. Go, go. A final shot before half for wins. Going up top. And this one is incomplete. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. Run, run. Wentz now on first down. Flush to his right. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Marquise Lee, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 24 yards. Wentz now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. 
Working from the gun. Wentz. Eluding the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Hassan Reddick able to get in and run him down for a loss of 14. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. From the gun, it's Wins. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. On third and long, it's Wins. Wow, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, 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 that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. This quarterback now, 10 of 17, throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Gone, 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 gone. To throw is Rosen. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make this a second down. And now it's Rosen looking. Flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, live to fight another down, right? This right, offense in desperate six. need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Over, 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 over. Detroit, Detroit. Detroit, Detroit. Cut. Throwing again, it's Rosen. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Uh, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21 tough first half for him unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing but with a guy like him you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well second and nine now from the 21 
Lefty, lefty. This by seven. Lion, lion. Wins to throw on second down. Now he's flushed out left. And incomplete on the deep ball. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. After an incomplete 40, pass 40, 40. on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Run, run. To throw his wins. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Wentz now, now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. On second down, here's Wentz. Being chased out left. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off at the 40. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. He was looking for Gronk that time. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first Detroit! and 10. Detroit! After the interception, here's Rosen. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. And now it's second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything over, open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive Never. game plan. Never. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. Ah. Now they'll run it on the toss. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally, taken down at the 15. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. Throwing now, Rosen on first down. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. As his guys are in for six. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. And no matter how it comes about, when you get good field position, you have to make the defense pay. Short fields usually make for good offense. Point after, right down the middle. And that will shave one more off this lead. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And they do get him out of bounds finally, but the damage is done. A big hitter on what proves to be the final play of the third quarter.
So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Fournette, a first down carry. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be perfect. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. In for the score. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. And that time, he came out of the slot for that big play downfield for the score. I think what we just saw there, partner, was what we call scheming a guy open. Put him in the slot, know that he has tremendous speed. What you're doing with your other receivers is likely running shorter routes to draw the attention closer to the line of scrimmage to give him a chance to get downfield and turn it into a one-on-one -on -one route, often against the safety. You like your odds when he's running against the safety. His speed usually wins, and it did on that play. Extra point right down the middle, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Gun, 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 gun. On second down, here's Rosen. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure they only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Back to the Philly. Here we go. Leopard. Leopard. Ah. On first down, it's Rosen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit four of seven. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. 
Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that one goes incomplete. They tried something out of the bag of tricks, but it's incomplete and now second down. Rosen again on second and ten. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of four on the play. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. The Cardinals on third down. They've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This will be third and six. Detroit! 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 Gone! 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 Rosen will throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off with great anticipation. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. First down, Wentz. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? On second down, here's Fournette. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts and the stop them on defense without using them. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and 10. On first and 10, here's Wentz. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, oh, oh, oh. flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. To throw, it's Wentz. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at about the 31, and he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. The extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Fielded about a yard deep. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Now Wentz to try again after the pick six. His throw incomplete. Trying to get it there to D.D. Westbrook. And it's second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. 
wins. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Now wins. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Wins to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Lee. Oh, no, he lost the football. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Wins to throw. Steps away to his left. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. The man is shark. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. To throw his wins. Just keeping the play alive. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Oh, look at this. Wentz going to throw. Buying time to his left. Only a one-yard gain, but good enough to just about finish this one off. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays for the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. Is at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. They still can't get it. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over.
A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Jags, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they drop just their second game so far as they fall to 5-2. And, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head to L.A. to take on the Rams. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.